Managerial Accounting, Absorption Costing versus Variable Costing. Now the first thing we're going to do is compare the product cost per unit under absorption costing with that of variable costing. Recall that under absorption costing, of course, the variable cost of materials, labor, and variable manufacturing overhead are assigned to inventory. And in addition, a portion of fixed manufacturing overhead based on the number of units produced is also charged to each unit of inventory that is produced during the period. So in our scenario A, under absorption costing, our full or absorption costing product cost per unit was $100. Now under variable costing, only these three variable costs will be charged to the product. So the direct materials of $41, the direct labor, of $4, the variable manufacturing overhead, of $5 per unit, and under variable costing, the fixed manufacturing overhead is expensed in total. So since we expense the total $450,000 of fixed manufacturing overhead under variable costing, fixed manufacturing overhead is not treated as a product cost under variable costing. So no fixed overhead will be charged to the product under variable costing. And remember, this is why variable costing is not GAAP and cannot be used for tax purposes because it doesn't allocate part of manufacturing, fixed manufacturing overhead to the product. Uh, but it is useful for internal decision making and for cost volume profit analysis. So our product cost under variable costing on a per unit basis is the $50 of variable costs. And notice the difference between the two under absorption costing. Our product cost is $100 per unit. Under variable costing, it's $50. The difference between the two is due to the way we treat fixed manufacturing overhead and only fixed manufacturing overhead. Now, in the next video, we're going to take a look at how the variable costing income statement will differ from that which we saw under absorption costing in scenario A.